Hey, Dave LaCalle with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we're going to talk about the LS1 valve train. Check it out. Slight ADHD diversion here. We're going to go over the ports too because they're just so beautiful. This is Head Games CNC port. We do intake ex. Well, here's the exhaust. Check out the intake port. Looking schnazzy and CNC. Look at all, oh, she's beautiful. And then combustion chambers. This is a 243 or 799 head, both the same. This is our favorite head to work on. They have killer flow. This thing is yet to be valve jobbed, as you can see. This is straight out of a CNC. So I'm veiling here. Something that we haven't really made it very, very public, but uh, Faria Racing, Faria Racing Valves, makes us a custom valve for boosted beatings. So this is our own design, and they make it out of a blank. All right, so what makes our valve different? Well, here is the OEM valve, and the OEM valve is a little less to be desired because of the material. Now, almost all the aftermarket valves, they have this dish here. You can see like the angle of the backside of the valve is almost flat. So what we do is we get a valve made that has a lot of tulip and the tulip is really gonna help flow and it's gonna help heat dis dissipation. So we make the margin thicker we increase the tulip, which is increased flow. There's actually a good 20 to 30 CFM just in the tulip. It should be noted that we only sell this valve for the stock valve size. So we only make it in a 1550. It's not made for the uh, 1600. The 1600 is actually a totally different valve, but we wanted to help the small valve guys like LS1, LS2, and that is really its primary source. It's also, good for boost. I mean, that's like pretty much the only reason why I made it. We made it out of the good material. We increased the, um, the margin and the margin is going to take heat away from the valve and we got flow. We have everything you need to make that thing a badass. So this customer brought us, um, I think it's a China intake valve and we're not, we're going to install it. This is nothing. Um, I think the intake valve, it doesn't really matter what you use because it doesn't see as much heat as the exhaust so he was ready to splurge on the exhaust because that's where it counts we use a btr spring kit in all of our ls builds we love that he has very he has a few of them and they come with titanium retainers and he comes with locks and they even come with valve seals so this is a boost application and we're going to check spring height now we're going to check the spring at 1750 and he has about 550 550 thousandths of lift and we're gonna put in the buxton spring tester and check out what we got and now we're gonna so we are at 170 on the seat and 370 open we are pretty far away from cool vines so we could go with a little bit more ah but well here's our issue so we only put 550 lift let's change this to uh, 630 lift that's what the customer is gonna have enter Whoop. there we go 165 on the seat 400 open and 119 thousands from coral bond so you're probably wondering how did i come up with that install height well btr makes an awesome spring height tester so you can use this you put it it just slides here between you put your locks in you put your retainer in and you put this this doohickey in here and you open it all up and you read your number so we are at 1-800 but we also have a 50 thousandths thick shim so the shim it gets included in your math all right so now we went over all the valve train this thing is ready to rock and roll it actually has to get valve job and milled and assembled so it still has to run around the shop but i wanted to show you a little something first all right, does it for me today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. What do you want to see next? Toodles.